What's up, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl Faye. How are you guys? I hope that you guys are all doing well. Um, it's Sunday afternoon, and I'm here with hey. Mojo. We're just coming from church. We had a christening today, and it went very well. It's now almost 2 30. Just getting out. It wasn't just a little service, it was church. Went to church, y'all. Went to church. It was good, though. It reminded me of church in Tallahassee. It was very good. The word was very good. Um, I appreciated what I was, what I heard. Today's topic was... Trusting in the Lord. Trusting in the Lord. Stop trusting in other people and, and stop, things. Yes. Stop relying on people and things to get you where you need to be. So, you know, it's a timely message. Mm-hmm. Show us. It's very good. Very good. So, with that being said, I haven't said that. It was a very small church. And everybody know everybody. And now that we've been there, they probably know us now too. Yeah. But, I don't know doing this up. Yeah. With that being said, y'all, if you have a man in your life, That ain't doing right by you, he ain't gonna do right by you. If a man don't want you, ain't nothing you can do that's gonna make him want you. You can cook, keep a clean house, give him some good stuff, be there for him at his beck and call. Comfort him. Comfort him. Why? You can be there for a man whenever he wants you or needs you to be there. But if he don't want you, all that is done in vain. So if you got a man right now in your life, anybody on YouTube, that you see, wait a minute. This is like a 90-10 relationship. I'm doing, 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 doing. And this man does not do anything for me and serves no purpose in your life. Mm -hmm. It's time to let him go. It ain't easy. Trust me. So late. I like the popcorn and the kettle black. It ain't easy. What? But. <laughs> but all I'm saying is. That feeling that you get at the end of the day. When you need somebody. And that person's not there for you. It ain't nice. It sucks. It sucks. When you're having a bad day. And you wish you could just pick up the phone. And call that person. And be like. You know. This is what's going on. And that person genuinely cares. And you don't have that. It sucks. The big one. So. If you got children, focus on your kids. If you don't have any children, focus on yourself. Focus on a hobby. Do something. Get a I know hobby. 2010 is coming to an end. And even myself, you know, there were some things I wanted to take care of in 2010. It didn't happen, but that's okay. I'm waking up. You got 364 more, 365 more days coming. You know, it, things. God knows what he do. Year. Why he do. What he do. So how he do it when he do it. Now, the reason I say that is because now my friend, the person who I'm going to speak of, they don't want you to. But, I think it's just very sad. She had a child with this man. She does all these things for this man. And after christening their child, she said, let's go out to eat. And he just completely ignored her. Now, this is somebody, y'all, that's supposed to be her man. Her booski. Her boo. Her love. Her baby daddy. Her baby daddy. Her asshole. In essence. If a man can't put you and your children first in his life, he ain't worth it. I remember when I had my epiphany. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I'll wrap it up, y'all. I remember when I had my epiphany, Taylor's other godmother called me and asked me if Taylor today got with somebody that's exactly like her father, how would you feel? Mm. I was hurt, y'all. I was so upset when she called me and asked me. I even called Farrah and be like, can you believe the nerve? What so-and-so had the nerve to ask me? But at the end of the day, she won't lie, y'all. She was right. Okay, and granted, I had to see it on my own time, but, I mean, I just think, self-love, if your man don't want you, 
he ain't gonna want you, no matter what you do. But if you don't love yourself, no one can love you. That's the most important thing, too. A lot of times people get into these relationships because they don't realize their own self-worth. You have to love yourself. Like, I love all of this. I don't like it all the time, but I love it. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? I don't know how to, I don't appreciate it the way I should. You know, I'm holding a mounds bar, you know? <laughs> I appreciate it like I should, but I love myself. I do, and I'm trying to get to the point where I I like it and love it all the time. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get there, but that's the thing. If you don't love yourself, no one else can love you. Whether it's a baby daddy, anybody, right. nobody's gonna appreciate you if you don't appreciate yourself. So right. that's really what the message is today. You know what I'm saying? Also, you know, trust into the Lord, and He is gonna guide you. But a lot of times we make our own decisions, and that's yes, that's what the right. problem is. Yeah, that's what the problem is. So that was the little message. That was the message today. It was trust a very deep Lord. message too. And he he bought it kind of just a real everyday type of you know situation. Right. You know the simplest things that we don't think about. You know, and I know there's probably some people that don't think don't believe in the Lord or whatever. And to each his own, you know. But. It just bothers me and it irks me. And what hurts me the most is, this is somebody that I do consider a friend. And to see, you know, we take a happy moment and she just, you know, she wears her emotions on her face and she just turns sad because this person that's supposed to be the father of her child, the father of the child that's getting christened, mm -hmm. just turn around and just completely ignore, you know, the fact of what she's asking. It's something simple because let me tell you, if it was a Haitian christening or baptism, y'all, we do it big. Big. Okay? He would have been bothered. For Taylor's christening, we had rented tables, chairs, had big party afterwards. It was a family gathering. It's just, you know, it's, oh, just, oh, just bothers me. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm just really But in a lot really of news, upset. in a lot of news, y'all. You know, somebody asked Marjorie if she was my mama. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I think she might have been sipping on some oil this morning or something. She wasn't sipping on no oil. She just says the truth. Y'all. She asked if Marjorie... Look at me. Look at her. Look at I'm me. Look fast. at her. Look at me. Look at her. Look at me. <laughs> don't she look she like my mama? Drunk. We look alike. We don't look alike. Do we really look alike? You Everybody do. has always said that we look alike. I don't know why. We've gotten it since high school. We don't. I don't see it. I, there are sometimes I can see why they would say it. Cause we both thick. Cause we're healthy. But <laughs> no, there's some pictures that that I've seen it. I could see it, but it's not like I guess it. It would. It'd be more like people think we're related you know what I mean but yeah child somebody asked her if she was my mama <laughs> I said uh huh she's uh -huh. my mama so I know you too now this is somebody that I'm seeing Farrah with me plenty of times this woman has seen me thousands of times and every time she sees me she says hi where's Marjorie she never she doesn't even know my name she doesn't remember that we've met before hi I'm so and so's mom really I know you woman you ain't got to know my name, but stop acting like you ain't never seen me before. She, yeah, might, she was drinking something this morning. She might got that all the time. All the time. She was drinking this morning. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, hey, whatever she need to get her through the church service. But don't, but the house today, she just went left field. What was she sipping on today? Okay. She must have been that Tommy Walker Black. Barry done been to this lady house. I've been to her house. I have broken bread with this woman. She still doesn't know my name. I mean, she doesn't have to know my name. I could care less about that. She don't even know that we've met before. I think she got the all the times. She got the she got the 80 proof. That's what she got. She got the 80 proof. <laughs> she got the top shelf. She got the top shelf. <laughs> so, today, the top shelf did her real good because she asked if Marjorie was my mama. And I told her yes. She was. <laughs> Maybe it's the blue that's making me look um, very young and vibrant. But she thought Marjorie was my mama. But anyway, y'all, running out of time. So, see y'all later, tomorrow morning. Bye. Bye, you Okay, too. this man is thinking that I'm waving to him, but I'm really not. <laughs> Tomorrow's our bowling day, so stay tuned for that video. It'll come in the afternoon. Late afternoon, late afternoon, after I edit it. But I will put it up tomorrow. Take care, y'all. Bye.